Okay, it's May 12th, 2012. We're at May Memorial Unitarian Universalist on East Tennessee Street, one of my favorite places. And we're here for a painting show by Maria Rizzo. Trees, Totems of Life. Wide open. Let's take a look around. These are some of the older pieces. Pretty much acrylic on canvas. That's my favorite. Look at that. Definitely a Steve painting. Heard a story about this from her husband. About how she refused to leave it alone after he said it was done. I always need that second sunrise. This one's impressive. According to the husband, she worked on it for quite a while. And interestingly, one of her materials is a drywall cement that she's using to build up three months with comes out the camera can show you it. But there's like a three-dimensional sculptural aspect to the work that you only get when you're standing up close. Yep. This is one of the first, apparently. And unlike the others, it's got a very fresh surface. Looks like she did it pretty much in one go. No idea how long I can do these. This is some of the more recent work. One of the things I like about this one is that you can see evidence of her prior paintings on the surface. How do you see that? Do you see these swirly parts right here? If you go over and look at that one in particular right across the way, mm -hmm. the swirly forms are, are the same. So this is one that she, she wasn't happy with that one and went over it. And the older ones have a, don't have this kind of marking on the surface, so she's gotten fussier about them as time has gone on. And you can tell that her technique has improved. And she switched the type of tree, too. Now this is a bird where Sure, yeah, yeah. She's definitely doing a specific kind of tree also. Yeah. I hadn't thought about that. Excellent. Excellent. She's definitely improved in her technique as time goes on. Some, uh, almost pointillistic detail. Actually, this one over here. Handsome. This is the one here. This is just magnificent. She's been looking at some Syrah. Uh, French impression. She has an Italian heritage. So it would be expected that elements of European painting would turn out. Well, talk 
to me about your use of this material through here. Oh yeah, this is actually, I don't know exactly the English word, it's like what people, it's taco, so... Um, stucco. Stucco. Um, Drywall. You know, like, yeah, that material yeah, that, for that, construction. What? Yeah, that one. And uh, what I use, I use that. I use also sand to give the texture, especially here, or uh, anyway, wood particles down here. I use, I don't know if you can see the little sparkles there. I use that as well. Um, and it was a lot of fun doing this piece. I used uh, I used the gold acrylic, you know, the metal the metal colors. Uh -huh. And um, let's see, the stucco I used that here to make the three dimensional of the stair this part to actually come yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it was fun. It uh, dries very fast. So and with acrylic, you know. Once you're going, it's just layers and layers. How long do you think you worked on it for? This piece, I did work on it for two months. Two months? Yeah, two months. So it was every day, a little bit, you know. And then it's really, you can see it. I mean, under the gold, you can see blue. Um, you can see, like, different things on the background going on. <laughs> So you just blew my mind. Two months? It two takes me two months to yeah, get Yeah, two months to, to, oh yeah, because it's all layers, transparent layers. Okay. On top of another. So. Well, fantastic. All right, no problem. It would take me two months to do a post-it note <laughs> scribble. <laughs> well, you know, for me two months is a long time because I do like to work fast, but if you want something, like something this big, it does take some time. It really does. Thank you.